And if you can give your name and address for the record, and you have three minutes. Here, this is the first time I've been it's already on. You're ready. here. Okay. Hi, I'm Cassandra Fritz. Um, I'm here. Um, uh, my neighborhood has been experiencing a lot of mailbox theft, car break-ins, um, home break-ins. Um, I live near Griffin Park, which is a park that's been closed down for quite some time. I've called numerous times over the years on that park. When I call, I'm treated by dispatch. They're like, just, I'm calling because somebody's in the park. And it wasn't even until recent, not, I guess it was last year, and I had emailed Karen Spiegel with some pictures and stated about how I was treated about that, that I kind of got more action when I would call PD to come out. The park is close to the public. I have caught, talked to uh, Moses Cortez about proper signage because I've been told by officers that have come out, have been able to interact with people I've called on. They can't enforce anything. There's nothing saying like no trespassing or park close to the public. The, the, it's a big problem. That park is hidden from street view. So anybody can be doing anything they want in there at any time. I live two houses from that park. There's nothing but bad things that go on in that park as well as homeless. I mean, if I were a homeless person, I'd sleep there. It's a perfect hideout. Um, mailbox theft, there's been quite a lot of it. I've um, gone, talked to people, you know, in the neighborhood. Um, neighbor's car next door has been broken into multiple times. We're, my mom personally, we're in the process of installing 12 security cameras. I don't feel secure in my home anymore. Um, I know that the neighbors and us, we would like to have some patrols in the area. Um, also, uh, there's an issue with the traffic on Griffin and McKinley. Just tonight, I came head on with another vehicle coming off McKinley onto Griffin. I, I'm in that area a lot, and it's only going to be a matter of time until my number's up and I'm involved in an accident. Two days after being down and talking to the senior traffic engineer, Vicki Lee, there was an accident that was right there. It, and it's a simple fix. You got two driveways that are right there. People are shooting from one driveway to the other. There needs to be some kind of traffic flow, you know, on the right turn or something at those two driveways. They're, they're right next to the corner. There's, it's, it's a lot. And I don't, I don't know who else. I mean, I've gone down to the city. I've talked to the police department about all of these various issues, and I've been told that the park is going to be reopened. And if that's the case, great. But some, it, because of that, that park being unique, that it's so well hidden from the street, that park must be on PD's normal patrol list. Because otherwise, we're just going to have the park like it was before. People are going to go in there. They're going to trash it and do the same things that had happened in the past. OK. Um, we did have somebody here two weeks ago uh, talking about near the park area, near where your home is, not about the intersection. So if you don't mind getting the card, uh, business card from the chief, obviously you've already talked to traffic um, engineering. So we can look at what can be done down at that intersection. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much.